Hello there, my name is Solmaz and you are listening to Tabling Thoughts Podcast. In this podcast, I talk about my experiences as a relationship coach and psychotherapist. The little things that I notice in my clients' day-to-day lives, which may affect the quality of their lives and relationships enormously, and for some reasons, they don't pay that much of attention to them. As I mentioned, I'm a relationship coach and I also practice as a psychotherapist in Ontario, Canada. In order to get more information about me, you may check my Instagram account, YouTube or my other podcast via the links in description. You are now listening to the 10th episode of Tabling Thoughts podcast and I'm going to talk about the iron boots. The last couple of weeks have been very challenging for me. And my intention in this episode is to share the challenges that I encountered and talk about the techniques, different kind of interventions I use myself to overcome those challenges. So the whole story started from an incident that was caused by a couple of individuals not doing their jobs completely and professionally, not fulfilling their requirements of their jobs. As a person who is way more disciplined herself, I'm talking about myself, I'm always looking for requirements. I'm always looking for what is my responsibility? How should I fulfill my role as a mother, as a psychotherapist, as a life coach, as a contributor of a member of the society? So when someone or some people don't do the same, I guess it hits me hard. And when I talked to a couple of my friends, they had the same experience. They expressed their empathy regarding to the lack of responsibility of those people. So long story short, the irresponsible part of the story caused a humongous damage to me and my family. Unfortunately, I cannot release the whole story, but I'm going to tell you the juice of it and how you can use it in your own life if you may. When it hit me, it was so hard that it took me more than 24 hours to figure out what exactly I'm facing and how I should try to resolve the issue. When I was talking with one of my friends who is professional in that field, first she expressed her empathy and compassion. She expressed her sadness. And then when it came to giving me some professional solutions, the first thing she told me is that all I'm going to tell you as a mother and as a wife, Solmaz, you need to put your iron boots on. Get ready for a war. That hit me there too. Life incidents in different aspects, they just hit you. They just come in the most unexpected time. And you are the person who should figure out what to do. So having said that, I decided, okay, I can't mourn more and I need to collect myself, get ready for the battle. As you know, I journal a lot. I was journaling and I was thinking, so what do I need? What are the prerequisites for this battle, for this war? You know, I have this belief that when everything is okay in life, when your life has kind of so-so balance. There is not that much of crisis happening around you. There is no tornado. Peace is there. That is the time you need to collect knowledge, gain the wisdom you need. Let me give you better examples. Like when you are happy with your job, when your job is stable, when you are happy with your colleagues and manager, your boss, that is the time you need to learn more. If there are any training courses you need to take, any ads on to your resume should happen then. When the ocean is not wavy, when peace is there, is the time that you do whatever you can to promote yourself, to develop your knowledge and your experience. Because when you hear the layoff news, when there is the time that your manager is not a good person or your colleague is such a bark that you can't focus on your job properly, that is the worst time to look for a new job. When you don't have a job, it's the worst time to look for a new job. But when you have a job and you have an income, it's the best time to look for better jobs. And this has been my strategy since the day one. I have been working on my resume. I have been working on my knowledge. I have been working on what to learn more when my life has been really steady. 
So having said that, I use those parts. I use those ads on to resolve this problem. One of the ads on has been learning about the guidelines and the professional writing, specifically emails in that specific field that I had the problem with. So when this incident happened, I knew how to write. I knew where the guidelines are. I knew how to use them. I had people and connections. I had built them. And this didn't come handy because it was kind of given. No, it came handy because I have been thinking about it that in order to be a better mother, in order to be a better wife, In order to be a better psychotherapist, better coach, I need to gain knowledge and I need to practice those knowledges. This is what I want to tell you, my friends. Think about the parts of your life that right now everything is steady and you think, okay, everything is all right. And please do not take them for granted. If something is steady in your life, your relationship, by steady I mean that you don't have that kind of challenges that they bother you so much. It's the time to work on them. Because your mind doesn't have that much of clutter. You see through the parts that you need to work on and have ads on. And you will be more successful if you work on them. So that was what I did. After a little bit of mourning and being in a very down, down mental status, I brought myself up. I gave myself the right to be sad, to be mad, to be resentful. And at the same time, I told myself, Zomas, put the boots on, their iron boots as tough as possible, and let's go to the war, to the battle. And you will win it because you have good intentions and you're just asking for your rights. You're not invading any other people's privacy or personal space. You're not being greedy. You just want to have your right back. And this is what we need to do it in our day-to-day life. We need to collect whatever we need. We need to collect and accumulate the knowledge, the wisdom, the energy, the focus, put them in our knapsacks and make them ready and handy for the times that we just need to put on the iron boots and go for it. I made it very sweet and summarized because I know that once you identify the area of your life, that needs the most of work, although there is no obvious problem there right now, then more than 70% of your path to success, to happiness, to have a bright future is clear to go. My friends, thank you very much for listening to this podcast. Tabling Thoughts is there because you are listening to it. I would really appreciate if you put comments in any of the applications you are listening to this podcast, such as YouTube or uh, CastBox, because by writing comments, asking for topics to talk about, or telling us what you think, you will help us to be seen in other podcast applications. Till next episode, take good care of yourself.